Hey, what's up, guys? It's still Vinci. We're back, man. It's been a minute since I've been on YouTube. But, man, uh, we're back, man. It's been a, a long time inside since I've been making videos and stuff. Um, it's been pretty busy, man, making music and stuff. But yeah, man, I want to come back on YouTube and just start, you know, grinding out these videos again. Making the most beautiful stuff, man. Um, as you see, I actually got some new studio upgrades. Um, most importantly, as you guys might see, we got this Profit synthesizer. Got this profit synthesizer, man. Um, you guys might see over here we got this Casio uh, keyboard. I got this at like a thrift store for like 50 bucks. It's so cool, dude. I gotta use it. Um, I'm gonna try using it in this video actually. But, um, yeah, this video is kind of like a just to kind of like uh, get back in the groove of making these videos, man. So I'm not, I don't really have any particular goal today for this beat I'm making today. I'm just gonna make some like. I was just gonna jam out, man. Just see, we got this profit now, and I got my keyboard down here, so I'm actually uh, playing a Rhodes um, on my Casio. So this is my MIDI right here, this bottom keyboard. So I'm just playing like these chords, and I got this lead hooked up on the um, profit, and it sounds insane, dude. Like playing them together. So freaking crazy, man. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> that was a cool little introduction I wanted to try. But um, yeah. So let's get into it, man. Um, I want to just lay out some. I want to do something super, super smooth today, honestly. So I'm just gonna lay out like some really open drums. So you guys probably won't see me over here. Uh, I can probably move my camera a little bit, so you guys can see me do the drums. Let me try that. Real quick. All right, guys. What's up? All right, so um, I had to move my camera over because I got this new three-tier uh piano rack right here, right? And I used to have my camera behind my MIDI and just record like kind of like the old ways, my old videos. But since I have this three-tier rack, I don't have a lot of room, so I have I have, I've been trying to restructure my whole room and just figure out like good like a good camera angle for the lighting and whatnot. But I think I found a good one with this angle right here because I could swap between. I could just move the camera over and get like the desk shot. I could swap it over and over here and get the all the keyboards and stuff when I'm playing stuff. Um, but we got everything pretty much dialed in. We got like an electric piano, man. We got the synth loaded up. Um, what I want to do is I just want to start out with like some super smooth drums. Um, so what I'm going to use for the drums today, I'm going to use my sound kit, Da Vinci Kit Volume 5. If you guys don't get, if you guys don't got my kit already, guys, go check that out, man. I love this kit. I use it all the time. It's my go-to kit. Um, and I want to do like some like pretty smooth drums today, like something like, um, pretty like just chill, you know what I mean? Nothing too hard. So I'm just gonna start with this this Mavi rim right here. I think I used this in the like one of the Mavi songs I produced. But it's gonna start with a cool little rim shot. Um, and what we're gonna do is that I also have this little noise sound I have in CS80. It's just like a beach wave noise. And that's gonna provide like a lot of like ambience now also hear like some echo on this rim shot I hear like some like and also maybe like a ping pong Is that cool or not? Nah? Is that lame? Put a little bit of reverb on it too. On that. I'm gonna pull up this. All right, I'm actually gonna mute the noise for now just so I can like kind of dial in on the drums. Um, I am gonna keep this echo on. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit though because it's a little bit too much. 
Yeah, I want it to be like very subtle. Remember I'll do like some cool hi hats. So I have this uh there's a couple hats I really like using this kit. Um hmm, today I think this train hi hat is always fire. I don't know why this hi hat's called train hi hat, but it is. <laughs> I want to make these hi-hats like super like That's kind of cool right there. I like, I like that. <laughs> I'm not mad at that at all. But I do Loki kind of want it to be a little bit more slower. Pull up this kick right here, man. Honestly, it might even make the highlights a little slower. Because I want this to be like super like ambient. Um... I'm gonna lower the velocity of this one. I'm gonna put all these drums on the same rack right here. Oops, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm giving them a little bit of echo. Not mad at that echo. I'm gonna put a tape mellify on these drums. I love this plugin, tape mellify. It's literally a free plugin. Like, um, I don't know. I don't know why people don't get this plugin, man. It's free. It's so good. It's better than RC20, bro. RC20 is played out. I do not even use RC20 anymore. Like, I'm over that plugin. But, um, so I'm gonna take out some of the low end right here. I'm gonna open up a second one and then EQ out some of the high end, the low pass filter. I'm gonna turn on the mechanic a little bit. It's like this, like, like white noise or whatever. All right, cool. Now we got some cool sound drones, man. And I'm gonna compress them now. So I've been using this plugin a lot uh, for compressing drones. Uh, this Fat Filter Pro C. Let's see, compress it a little bit. Sounds cool. Alright, now I'm gonna lower that a little bit because that was a little too loud. I want like a I want like this clap to have a lot of reverb on it. I want it to be like drowned out with reverb. So I'm gonna bring it to insert six, right? I'm gonna put hella reverb on it. And I'm going uh, to route it to this track only. So, so it has like the mixing of, of all this stuff. I'm also going to bring this down octave maybe. Or maybe not. Like right here. How does this sound? Hold on. And I'm actually going to add a little bit more of the low end back into the drums. Just like the slightest bit, not too much. I also think I'm going to make the drums mono too. Maybe not all the way mono, maybe like halfway mono, 50%. That's cool. Yeah, because I still want like, I don't want it to be too stereo. Now we're going to play the drums back with the, like this beach noise sound. I'm just gonna blend in the um I'm thinking what if we uh Dude, that's kinda tough.
kind of tough, honestly. Let me try putting a little pitch wheel on it, too. I'm gonna put the compressor at the end of the chain, too, just so it's like, so it's like the reverb's getting compressed, too. sick without the reverb all right so now we got um we got a cool little drum beat going man I'll probably keep the reverb off honestly for now just because it sounds a little more cleaner i'm gonna turn the bpm up a little bit i'm not mad at this right here i wonder if we can yeah i'm not mad at that I was gonna EQ this uh, this little C noise we got right here. A little bit too much low on. Yeah, some of this low on, yeah. Also. This is taking up a lot of space in the mix. I'm gonna add some high end back in right there. I'm gonna take out a little bit of the low end too. Not all of it, but I'm gonna take out like. Not mad at that 4%. Alright, cool, man. Now we can start jamming out over this. So I'm gonna move my camera back over to how it was. Um, see. Now I'm just gonna start jamming out until I catch a bottom.
All right, so we're recording now, guys. So I think I'm gonna start laying down some ideas to actually record now. <laughs> outro yeah <laughs> yo, yo, yo. all right guys so my camera freaking died but i'm back i actually did a little bit of work on this beat uh so basically what i did real quick i'll play it from the intro again so it's the same as it was i didn't really add anything else in the intro all i did is i layered the um Rose with a bell, like an octave up, just to make it sound a little more cooler. And then I took a bass guitar from Contact, uh, the Scarby Rickenbacker bass bank, exactly. And I freaking layered the bass notes of the chords in the intro right here. Um, and that sounds cool, right? And over here, I kind of just like, I was trying out some different drums, because I still have like the same drums, but I was like, let me try like some more like. this now add an 808 um yeah i don't know i still have all the old drums too i kind of like them uh i had them an octave down but i like them an octave up i feel like it's a little bit more energy i'm trying to figure out what to do what else to do with this beat so so here so we got this it could be pretty much done it's not done but like it could potentially be done um i'm trying to figure out what else it needs honestly
honestly, this could be like the finished beat for real. Like, I could go in and add some more stuff and kind of like arrange it out better, but. could add um some guitar actually that would be cool all right so i'm actually gonna do that i'm gonna unplug my synth right here because i have my synth plugged in um oh damn it and i'm gonna get my guitar cord on this table all right so we're gonna plug this in um i have a wah pedal so i could use my wah pedal um, but right. I need some more quarter inch cables, man. I be I don't got enough. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna run. Guitar. Yeah, you got a pick. Um, and go to input one. that up because there is like some parts in there that I like some parts I don't but let's see how this sounds <laughs>
was crazy as heck. Guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna do more of these. Peace.